Hello. Well, I'm always hitting my head on that. Right, I'm uh, in my mum's loft. Oh, that I've uh, recently boarded up. I've nearly finished the main bit now. And um, got some nice, uh, nice carpet. And this is another thing I keep hitting my head on, this bloody aerial. Uh, it's in the wrong place, that's for sure. I wonder if I can move it. I can't see why it can't move along into the other section. I might try that. Um, because it's only sort of clamped on, I think. And there is a beam that it's attached to. And I think I'll be able to move it into the place where I'm not going to hit my head all the time. I'm going to try that later actually, see if the TV reception's affected and um, if it still works. It's just, it's just ooh, it's always in the way. Right, so what I've done, I'm higher up now than the rest of the loft. Oh dear, my feet. Now, uh, so let's just move that. So they're all on stilts, they're all on these things, look. I'm on a floor that's supported by lots of these and lots of these and this, these, these metal bar things and then on top of that goes the, uh, the chipboard loft flooring that's screwed to the base. So I can't do, I've got to leave I'm just going to board that up at a lower level with the normal boards. I can't have it um, at this height all the way around the loft hatch because it would make it harder to get in and out. So I'm going to leave that bit but board it up. There's not much insulation there anyway and it's only over the landing. So I'm just going to use the rest of the boards or some of them, board up the main bit. Use another bit of this off cut of carpet, put it there. So when I come into the loft I've got a landing platform an area where I can put boxes while I'm initially bringing them up. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to try and get rid of that because it's just a death trap. I might at some stage, maybe later ne this year or next, do something about putting some boards over that. It's all wasted space over there, you can't really see it. So it's a bit of a tip. Uh, to keep me company, I've got Ricky Gervais. I'm not keen on the man, but I'm watching extras or listening to extras on the iPlayer because um, there's a box set of um, series one and two. So that's just keeping me company. Well, it's something to giggle along to or listen to. Um, let's move my tripod. So basically what I'm going to do now, because I've done the main area and I can stand up in it. Ooh. <laughs> A bit of a death trap at the mo. Oh, let me just sort of. It's very, it's, it's very, very full. Um, this red carpet was the old carpet from the living room, and I shampooed it when it was downstairs, so it's clean enough and it's all right. So, I'm thinking for this side, I'm going to put uprights lying down because I can't board right up to the end can't do any more boards but I can overlap like I've got uh, what's this one Ooh, oh that's a bit of thing I've got Hoover dust manager and it overlaps a bit but the main part of the thing is on the dubri so I can use that wasted space so I'm gonna put all uprights along here I think um, probably too too high all along there I'm gonna make a list in my pad of actually what's up here as well so I know it's all, all just thrown up at the moment. I've been using this to help clean up as I've been going along. That needs to go back in its box. I need to give that a good clean. That's uh, AG. And this vacuum's all behind. It's quite um, a nice temperature up here at the moment. It's not too hot. There's all stuff over there. So um, <clears throat> what I'm doing, tidy, going to tidy up start rearranging all the boxes and uh, when I've done that I'll show you again <clears throat> and I should have a list of exactly what's up here but I've still got some more vacuums in the garage to bring up so I'll be bringing up those 
and I was going to but it's I can't really afford to this month but I'm going to insulate all this part I found some stuff that's quite pricey that's uh, a silver insulation a foil and well it's seven layers I'll, I'll intersperse a picture of the sample I bought because it's downstairs can't get it now so this um, what I'm showing you now is called super quilt and basically you just have to staple it it can be used in on floors and walls but it's also useful for here so I'm going to clean all the cobwebs and stuff and then fit it to the, certainly the main part of the loft I can't really get into that part yet but eventually I would really want to fit it to that part because the heat will still come through but this area um, should stay a bit cooler with the uh, the super quilt stuff up on the eaves and it'll keep the dust out as well because it gets very dusty in here the dust and stuff comes through from the outside I've noticed on some of the boxes I've brought up here so <clears throat> and it'll also make it very bright because it'll be all silver reflective so I'll be doing that I might do it this year I might do it next year um, the sooner the better really um, yeah so that's all I'm showing you at the moment so the next thing you'll see hopefully I'm going to put the camera down and get on with some work and you'll see a little bit more tidiness in the middle and uh, all vacuums all around and space to bring up some more from the garage well it's a bit later on um, there's no way I'm going to have enough space to be able to access stuff easily at the moment as long as it's tidy um, so anyway at the moment I've listed 48 vacuums so that's uh, there's loads behind obviously all right down there behind all this all these oh, uh, all this so I've actually listed from the satellites Hoover the one, Hoover Blaze, Hoover Spritz, Ooh, these are all blasts from the past. There's Maytag up right there, there's the Electrolux Dolphin, Bosch Perfecta, you've seen that fairly recently, and that's an old one you haven't seen for a long time, the Siemens, um, Hoover Sprint 100, one of my American vacuums, and some, there's a Hoover Free Motion there, and a Hoover Silent Energy. That's just an iPod Hi-Fi box. Um, that's going to go elsewhere. It's just the empty box. Hoover shampoo polisher. Couple of Alpinas. Somebody's making a racket outside. One of my new in the box Turbo Masters. Electrox Airstream and uh, what's that one? Oh, the um, Turbo Power 2. One of the Turbo Power 2s. Pure Powers, Sharks. Got the globes, the Hoover Globe uprights are behind there, my Ensign Stealth, a couple of old Electroluxes, a 560 and a 330. There's a Hoover Idol stick vac, a couple of dust manager uprights. So, oh dear. And I'm cleaning up, I'm sort of cleaning as I'm going, so I'm moving stuff. So really, what I'm going to do next, because there's vacuums behind here that I haven't uh, looked at, I need to list them, you see, so hang on. Let's move that. Uh, see what happened to this. This is why you shouldn't put things in a hot loft. Because I left this in the loft like this for quite a while, and I came to it and found that that, you see, gone like that. I mean, it will restore. A bit of hot water. These others should fare better in a hot loft because they're all boxed. But yeah, I will have to fairly soon. <clears throat> Certainly don't want another summer. But then it means having to move everything away from... I should have some room in the middle, so I, should, I have to move stuff away. Or move stuff from one side, so I can put this insulation up, tack it up, and then push stuff back. That's what I'll have to do. Right, it's all a bit less light here. Um, just uh, put my other light on. That's an unboxed turbo light. I haven't seen that for a long time. It's, it's broken, it's doobie. Keep trying to get one. I need one of these folks. I have found actually a USA website, Parts Warehouse, I think, who will ship to the UK. So I'm making a list. They've got a lot of the stuff I want. I must look actually to see if they've got one of these, because that's all that's wrong with this um, 
turbo light uh, that's that blades upright I haven't seen that for a while um, it's a blue pure power I don't know if I've even ever featured that I bought it new but it's been used right oh, let me just get down uh, let's move the blaze out of the way the, it's, it's very dusty up here still so I do need to uh, oh dearie me oh what's that Ah, oh, it's that Electrolux Professional Wide Track. There's, oh, the Goblin Upright. Oh, oh I can see a Cebo Airbelt K1. This is that Airstream, it's a huge box. And behind that, there's something else. So I'm have to, just gonna have to bring out some of these just so I can list them. I think they'll go back how they are because they're fairly neat. But there's wasted space here, look. I can probably fit some smaller handheld vacuums on there. Um, and I think that Telios is too deep. But I'll be able to put some things there. Oh, there's a bit of a breeze coming through. It's, it's warming up a lot up here now. Quite warm, but it's not boiling. It's not very sunny. It's a bit overcast, I think. Well, it's getting there. By the end of today, I should have the middle of this area clear. Everything around the edge. And some more vacuums that are in the garage my mum doesn't want in the garage will be up here safely out of harm's way oh dear why don't i i wish i was a stamp collector you know just have a couple of albums full but no no collecting bulky items isn't uh, very good when you have to store them away